Hello Photo Summer fans, today we just got in the brand new Pentax Q. Um, I have right next to it the Canon T3 as a sizing reference. We can see, I mean, huge SLR compared to tiny little, um, I guess people call it uh, lens cameras or uh, interchangeable lens cameras. Very small um, lenses. This is the prime lens. It's a 40.5 millimeter. Okay, and right now I'm, I have on it the fisheye lens. You can see the back, nice and small. Once again, compared to my hand, obviously I do have a big hand, but really nice small camera, as opposed to something very large like this. Just so you can see a reference of the lenses much much smaller lenses obviously for a much much smaller camera the Pentax does not have a mirror obviously it's just like the NEX or the um, Panasonic G series even though we still do have a hot shoe right here on top it does have a flash built-in flash that pops out like that and it has all the controls that you would uh, tend to see this is the white version. We also have it in black as well. Like I said, it comes with this prime lens normally. We, could, we also have the fisheye lens and there's a couple lenses coming down the line as well. For part two of the video, we are going to do, uh, we're gonna shoot some video using the Pentex Q and see what the quality is probably with the fisheye lens and another one with the standard prime lens. Okay, for part two photo summon fans, we're outside. I am using the fisheye lens, as we can see here. Uh, when using the fisheye lens though, we are limited to only using manual focus. So that's me focusing right there, just in case anyone was interested. Using the fisheye lens right now, like I said, very interesting lens, good quality. One thing I did just notice about this camera is that it does not have um, an external mic port, which is acceptable considering its small, small size. Obviously though, if we could choose everything, we would have an external mic port. This does shoot a full 1080p HD video. Uh, just so everyone knows, the second lens, the prime lens, like there, literally that small, literally fits in my shirt pocket. So I'm going to do part three of the video with that lens as well. Okay, here we are for part two. Or actually, I apologize, part three. Um, and I just noticed something that may have me doing a couple other parts to this video. By the way, this is the autofocusing prime lens, 40 millimeter, uh, 40.5 millimeter, I apologize. But um, I just noticed this camera has a little quick dial on the front. You can actually set that quick dial to basically do a lot of different things. Not really whatever you want, but a lot of different things. I can actually record in a couple different modes. I can extract color. I can invert the color. Um, I can shoot in extra uh, fisheye. All sorts of stuff. So, I'm going to play with those modes for the rest of the parts of this video. But as we can see, very nice clean video. Not that choppy, not bad. Focusing does pretty great. Not really quite sure if this does have full-time autofocus while in video mode. Looks like it does, but I'll have to look back into that. But hold on one second. I'm going to do part four. Welcome to part four. Just kidding. 
Now we have the inverted color, which I think is really neat that we could use in video. So you, if you ever want to do some funky fun things as far as video, you could do something like this. Maybe, maybe uh, record a music video and complete invert. This may hurt some people's eyes, so I'm gonna come out and we'll do another one. Okay, the next kind of fun little mode we have is a posterize mode. Kind of like a watercolor meets you know, high contrast meets God knows what else. Um, high saturation. Really interesting mode. Slows things down a little bit, but still a pretty clean video. Very artistic, kind of fun for people to play with. Alright, next part. Okay, here we have color extraction. Just in case you don't notice, I have chosen the color red. So we extract all colors except for red. So you can see a couple of red bags in the background. Everything else is black and white. Some red bags. This is neat if you're trying to get a... Once again, if you're trying to do a video and get a feel for it, kind of um, a romantic or passionate kind of scene or something like that. You're trying to show just the girl in the pretty red dress and nothing else. This is the kind of uh, scene you would use. There you go, red truck there. Okay, but we pass by. All right, next part. And our final mode, because we can only choose four, is fisheye. Not a huge fisheye effect, but we can see right there in the car, kind of warping. There we are. 